Hello, Legons, and thank you for joining with us once again. Live once again here for today's local San Jose City Space J rocket launch. I am uh, uh, John Roberts joining with you folks for today at the San Jose City Space J uh, slash San Jose City International Airport for today. At the local mission control for today, I'm John Roberts coming from your TV Plus 6 San Jose City News for today. We have a very uh, historic mission. Uh, we have at least four more missions left. Uh, being the fourth one, the last one will be the first ever uh, mission to the local Lego Mars, Mission to Mars, and we're getting one step closer, so it's a, so today's a very historic mission. Hope you like the montage at the beginning there, as, as always, once again. Sorry about that once again, but we are trying something new once again for uh, today's uh, video of uh, concepts for today, for today's Sango City Space J launches. Today's launch is focusing on uh, introducing another uh, satellite to study the Mars surface so we can uh, land the local uh, astronauts, LEGO and astronauts, onto the Mars safely. Uh, the one is still studying the surface a little bit more, but we're going to be releasing one a little bit closer to the atmosphere and closer to the LEGO Mars itself. Uh, we'll be getting images of that as well for today. Uh, today's mission is actually a pretty trick, tricky mission for today because they have to get really, really close to the atmosphere without entering that atmosphere. And if they do enter the atmosphere, the mission does uh, become a disaster. And they got to make sure to have it at the beginning rim of outside of the atmosphere so the satellite can orbit uh, the Mars surface itself. So uh, the mission control is talking back and forth right now over today's mission. We have at least a couple minutes remaining uh, for today's mission. Uh, we have at least... I believe four to five minutes remaining for today's mission. Once again, uh, we're going to be putting a timer here on for today's video uh, for when the mission will start. Uh, but we want to thank you, Lego, and to join with us once again. Uh, very historic missions coming up for the next couple weekends. Uh, next weekend will be the historic launch uh, where we will be launching the first ever Lego rover to land onto Mars. Uh, the rover will also study the Mars surface even more uh, to find a perfect spot for uh, the, the LEGO and to land there safely, the LEGO and astronauts to land there safely as well. After that mission, we'll also be doing some more supply missions after that, I believe, and uh, the official mission to Mars, where LEGO and will be landing onto Mars, excuse me, uh, will be on uh, March 14, 2020, so stay tuned for that. Uh, video that will be a very historic video for the Lego Toby community for this 2020 year. Uh, we're already one step closer from uh, any other space platforms from around the world, including the United States with SpaceX and Blue Origin and also NASA for today. But we are teaming with NASA for today uh, with uh, building these rockets together. We have local NASA, NASA astronaut or sorry NASA engineers who uh, actually do uh, help build these rockets together so they can actually make it to the LEGO Mars surface itself. Uh, even though this is a fake world, a fake uh, city, fake imaginary, uh, imagination itself, uh, just remember we are actually not partnering uh, with NASA itself. It's just for uh, today's video once again. So thank you for watching once again, LEGO ends. A uh, very historic year for this 2020 year, introduced in the brand new new year. Uh, but the past two months, uh, we started at the end of January with the first uh, missions, uh, including supply missions. This last weekend, we introduced uh, the local supply missions uh, for astronauts' foods and clothing and all that stuff that they will need. Uh, once when they do launch into the space, into their space rocket on March 14th, they'll go to the uh, local uh, space station uh, where their supplies and stuff is needed. Also, extra gas, extra fuel for their rockets itself uh, so they can survive the long journey uh, to the LEGO Mars. This is one of the longest journeys that we've ever planned. Uh, we've been planning this for the past two years. Uh, we started around planning when uh, we did the, Mar uh, the mission to the moon as well. Uh, they've gotten more ideas and more, and more uh, techniques of how to get to this LEGO Mars. It's a very challenging mission, but it's going to be a very historic mission once when we do actually land onto the LEGO Mars itself. So thank you, LEGO, for joining with us once again. We have at least, I believe, um, two minutes remaining for today's launch, and we're going to be listening to Mission Control for today. I'm John Roberts, and thank you for joining with us. Uh, we have a nighttime, a little bit of a sunset uh, look for today and a nighttime uh, uh, look for today. They have all their lights on for today. Very different type of looking um, launch for today for you folks, but a very historic launch as well. Uh, they also are practicing with a second rocket that is up right there. That will be the uh, uh, second type of journey that they will be using. They're going to be testing that rocket in the next coming up days. 
uh, which we might film that, uh, so stay tuned for that once again. It's not really part of the Mars missions, but they are looking to maybe use it for future missions to other planets and to other explorations around the solar system as well. So thank you, Langhorns, for watching. Now listening back to the mission control for today, and thank you for watching. T-minus 20, 20 seconds, seconds remaining. remaining. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ignition start. One, one. Going to join with us once again. Very successful launch. And here we go with the rest of today's video. Uh, we're going to be beginning a nice stop motion video here in a sec. Thank you for joining with us once again and bearing with us. Uh, we are having technical difficulties with uh, some of the audio systems once again. Uh, but we want to thank you, Legoans, for joining with us. Uh, very, uh, very historic, historic mission, mission once, once again. again. I am John, I am John Roberts. Roberts. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, reporting, uh, reporting for today's, today's mission. mission. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. And thank you. Like Engage two, one, zero, launch. Clearing off sides one, five, nine, or Copying back to 1040 Houston of uh, Sango. Coming back to astronaut one. And for clear all airspace, uh, repeat, uh, pretty shaky up here. Looking clear, looking very, very beautiful. Copy back, Houston SG. Tango City, do you copy back, uh, Mission Control Launch 159er? Uh, going into deep space, uh, clearing airspace 159er. Copying back to 459, getting closer to the Mars uh, surface. 
10-4-9er uh, getting closer and closer to the Mars surface, uh, getting ready for launching satellite outside of the Mars uh, lunar surface. Coming back 10-4, uh, Sango copying back, getting ready to uh, exit the vehicle here in a moment to release the satellite, copying back to release uh, cargo, cargo, special cargo, releasing 1-5-9er, release is clear. 10-4. Copying 10 4, exiting uh, cockpit right now to build the satellite, as you can see. Uh, copying back 10 4, uh, Houston, do we have a copy? 10 4, getting back, and we have a successful launch. Thank you, Houston. Uh, controlling back to you, folks. Thank you. And thank you, Lego, for joining with us once again for today. Thank you for joining with us. This is the ending of today's Space Jay launch once again. So we want to thank you, Lego, for joining with us once again. Very historic launch once again, and very successful launch for today's Space Jay mission, the second satellite right outside of the Mars surface. Studying the Mars surface right now, we saw a little bit of images of the Mars surface right there. Getting a little bit closer, and this uh, mission was a success. A little bit of a tricky mission, but they did it. The astronaut got out. Uh, this is the closest that we've ever gotten to Mars with a LEGO astronaut, so that's also a historic part of today's mission once again. And looking absolutely awesome for today's Sango City Space J mission. We thank the LEGO for joining with us once again live here for today in the Sango City area. Once again in the Sango City Space J area. I am John Roberts reporting for today live here at the Sango City International Airport. And thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for more and uh, thank you Legoans and remember you will always be a Legoan